of public audience and speaking were over. But lo and behold, here I am in front of you all, and this time it's by my choice, which is more scary than anything. <laughs> um, I have never been a public speaker, even in school, and that is part of the reason why I am here. That, coupled with my own perfectionism, led me to think long and hard about what I wanted to share with you and what wouldn't bore you too much. So I decided I wanted to start with a quote that not only hangs in my apartment, but I try really hard to remember every day. It is by George Bernard Shaw that says, life isn't about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself. Tonight I want to share three aspects of my life that have created, or that have helped create who I am today. They are what I've learned, what I do for a living, and how I live, or who I love. So to start, what I've learned. In my family, education is very important. From a very young age, I knew that college was expected after high school. In high school, I graduated in the top 10% of my class, number 48 out of 660 to be exact. I also attended Running Start, which, if you don't know, is a program that allows you to attend community college classes. I earned college credit, which I then transferred to Western Washington University here in Bellingham. During my tenure at Western, I switched majors three times, which I'm sure my parents hated, but it gave me a lot of different classes to explore, things to learn. I first did computer science, I switched to sociology, and finally I got my bachelor's degree in finance with a minor in accounting. Upon graduation, I was terrified of entering the workforce, so I went back to school. This time I got my accelerated MBA from Western as well. Thankfully, all of the things that I've learned have allowed me to do what I enjoy for a living. Currently, I am a uh, financial analyst for Peace Health. I have been doing that for two years and I absolutely love it. I spend all day looking at spreadsheets and analyzing numbers, <laughs> which I'm sure most of you are thinking is dreadfully boring, but I get paid to do what I'm good at and I enjoy it. Prior to my job now, I had a brief stint in Seattle where I was a program operations analyst at UW Medicine and IT Services until I realized I'm not a city person, and that's why I came back. Before leaving Bellingham, I was a program uh, specialist and a research analyst for the Small Business Development Center in Bellingham, as well as an electronic medical records assistant for Family Care Network, and an assistant uh, preschool teacher for a daycare. Lastly, all of those things, what I've learned and how I live, have taught me what's important in life and allow me to love the things I do with everything that I have. First and foremost, my family is the number one thing. <clears throat> number one thing that I love. My parents have been together and married for 35 years now. They are my shining example of what true love is. They are retired and all they do is travel. My sister is my half sister. She's 10 years older than me and we have become much closer now that I'm an adult. And as many of you know, I also have a younger brother. He is four years younger than me and I will be officiating his wedding in October, which is the other reason I am here. Um, his name is Connor and he is one of my best friends. We rarely ever fought growing up. He, um, he actually lived with me when we were in college and then I lived with him when I was in Seattle. And he was also there for me when my first marriage failed. I also love my animals. I have a cat who is 16 years old. She has been through everything with me. Her name is Amaya. And I have a dog, a huge dog, who is a rescue, afraid of every single person and thing that moves, and was inherited by my brother. His name is Hank, and he is a 110-pound bull mastiff. The third thing I love is myself, which may seem weird to say, but it is new for me to be able to say to you all. Um, 
This is because, as of a year ago, after six years of ups and downs, I hit a personal goal in which I lost 155 pounds. I did this through hard work, going to the gym, and eating right. Lastly, I love my boyfriend James and his three-year-old daughter Audrey. Uh, James has been through it all with me. I've known him for 10 years. He has seen me at my worst, he encourages me to be my best, and he loves me every day. Audrey has taught me patience and humility and how to be a mom myself, which I will be in January. And I found out this morning it is a boy. Mm, all right. So, in the beginning, I told you that life is about creating yourself. I am the person I am today because of the choices I have made, some of which were awful, some of which were the best. But hopefully in the end, they will all be good. Thank you.